continue coming she wears me out yes the lord the unjust judge vindicated her vindicated her the lord says he will vindicate us speedily vindicate us speedily I don't know what you're going through and we have the righteous judge yes we have the righteous judge here yes I, I love it in this in a new living translation the judge said but this woman is driving me crazy yes it's driving me crazy Every time I wake up, I find her. The same face. The same face. I'm going to see that she gets justice. Because she is wearing me out with her constant requests. Somebody who is seated, can you lie rise up on your feet? Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yet, because this woman wears me, keeps coming, I will vindicate her. I will give her justice. I will grant the desires of her heart. Are you aware of going before the Lord with that issue? Are you giving up already? Are you surrendering and saying, ah, ah, maybe this is how I'm supposed to be? No. God has a style, a life for you. Ah, there is a scripture in, in uh, Ephesians. Ephesians. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 Oh shekerer we must not give up we must not give up we must not relax we must not relax we must not relax for we are God's masterpiece he has created us a new in Christ Jesus. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. There is something God has planned, has prepared for you to do beforehand. There is something. There is something. There is something. There is something. God created in Christ. We were created in Christ Jesus for good works. For good works. What are those good works? What is the good works which your life is manifesting? We were, we were told in the second service that Dorcas was raised up from the dead because of the good works she was doing. She was, she was sewing, making uh, clothes for the widows, maybe dressing up the ministers. So when she died, when she died, when she died, these widows showed up with the works of, of Dorcas's hands. They came with the works with, with Dorcas's clothes. They showed it to Peter and said, look, this woman's works Look at what she did. And the Bible tells us Dorcas. Dorcas was, was resurrected. Maybe let's read it. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room where, where Dorcas was being was laid. And all the widows stood by him weeping showing the tunics and the garments which Dorcas had made <inaudible> while she was with them. <inaudible> the Bible has just told us in Ephesians 2.10 <inaudible> there is a good work <inaudible> the Lord has created you for <inaudible> and he prepared you <inaudible> beforehand 
that we should walk in them in these good works focus into yourself what is that you are doing what is that you are doing are you satisfied with your life do you feel you have reached the end are you walking in that glory is there something yet you can discover about God is there something you can place a demand on we are seeing what is happening in the world our children are getting lost poverty is all over the place we whatever we touch with our hands don't seem to prosper is that the life God has called us for there must be something different we must make a difference we are not different from the man who was at the pool the who was saying I don't have a man to put me in the pool we can do something may we place a demand this day on this God who is at work in our lives this God there must be something we must place a demand tell your neighbor I must place a demand it's not church as usual we don't do church as usual. Getting saved is just the beginning, the first step into the great life God has given us to live. This is a process which has just begun. Our life is a process no, a process a process no, a process no, yes Ego. there is a finished product whatever when God starts a work he brings it to a completion but many times we seem as if we have reached the end let us place a demand I want you to lift up your hand and, let us, and talk to the Lord this afternoon something has to break forth in your life lately I'm telling God to break forth in my life there is something a lever I want to touch in God I have not yet touched it I'm in the process there is something I want God to do in my life so that when I stand like this he's the one who manifests he shows up I want him to, to, to break forth in my life. Lift up your hand. I want you to take some short time and pray for yourself that the God who has started the work in you will bring it to a completion. I want to hear your voice. Talk to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Lift up your voices. Lift up your voice and talk to the Lord. What demand? What are you demanding from the Lord? what are you placing a demand on God for he will do it and he says I'll vindicate them speedily I will do it speedily I will not delay because I'm hearing the voice of my children I will not delay so lift up your voice talk to the Lord about that need about the level you want him to go to take you to there's something he wants to accomplish he did not just create you savior and place you in the church to just not to do something there is a great task ahead of you ask the Lord what is this task what do you want me to do Docas made tunics for the for the for the widows what about me Lord what about me what is that good work that I will be remembered for Lord you have started a good work in me bring it to a completion just talk to the Lord we don't want him to be a visitor we want to engage him yes Lord yes Lord everybody talk to the Lord pour your heart to him
He is the God who has started a good work. The good work in us in Christ Jesus. Yes, he started a good work. Yes, we cannot do without him. He is the author and the alpha of whatever we are doing. Yes, we are we are partners with him in this journey. We are partners. We are partners. We are partners. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we are partners. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Because he is he is in it. He is in it. He is in it. God has prepared this for us in advance to do it. There is something. There is something that God wants to produce from your life. As long as you are still breathing, may He do it. May He do it. Allow Him to do it. Many times we hinder Him by our mentality. By our thoughts, by our imagination, this is a time for you to think big, to think big, to rise up big, to believe in yourself and know that you can take the city. Yes, I can do it. Yes. Through the Lord who strengthens me. Yes, yes I can make a difference. Through the Lord who strengthens me. I can do it. This is a time for you to confess it. This is a time for you to take a step. And climb higher. Get tired of that level. Get tired of that level. Get tired of that level. Walk out of that level. Break camp. And go to a higher level. Break camp. Tell the Lord. It's not business as usual. Take me to another level. Take me to another level. I want to see your glory. Don't leave me here. I'm not going to leave to leave this place. If you are not going with me. The Lord, like like that's what Moses told the Lord. He placed a demand. Oh, he placed a demand. But Moses is no longer there. It's you and me who are here. We must place a demand on this anointing, on this thing which worked for the disciples, for the apostles. Even a handkerchief. A mere handkerchief would perform miracles because he has been in the hand of an apostle. So, what about me? Lord, do something in my life that I'm able. When I stand, when I show up, when I show up, everything around me performs miracles. Even a, a shadow, a mere shadow, would heal the sick. What about me? Lord, I'm tired of this level. I am tired of this level. I am tired of this level. Yeah, so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick and the diseases left them and the evil spirits went out of them. Oh God, this level, we are craving for it. Lord, give us this level. Oh Lord, break forth amid us. 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 Yes, break forth amid us. We are tired of this level. Thank you, Jesus. Oh yes, speak to the Lord about your level. Speak to the Lord about your life. Speak to the Lord about your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. From, from this time to the time when you are saying, yes, I can see the glory of God in my life. Yes, there is a process. It is a process. There is something you have to do about it. There is a demand you have to place on the heavens. There is a demand. There is always a starting point. There is a journey we are exposed to. 
are going somewhere. There is a journey which we have started. And this process has just begun. It has just begun. It has just begun. The Bible tells us, let the physical things teach you the spiritual things. Let us learn. Let us learn. Let us learn. Let us learn. When we look at the, the physical things, let them teach us the spiritual things. Let us get the spiritual implications. Like when you are cooking food, you get your matoke and you start peeling it. You don't start eating it immediately. It takes a process before it reaches the plate, uh, the plate and you're enjoying your hot good matoke. It is a process. It is a process. From the time you start to the time of glory when you are enjoying, there is a process. There is a process. It is a process. When we read about the, 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 the Daniels, they started something before the glory broke forth in their lives. Before Nebuchadnezzar could tell everybody in, in, the, in the territory to worship only the God of, of Daniel, the God of the Hebrew boys. It took a process. It took a process. It took a process. It started by these boys determining in their hearts that we will not bow down before the God of Nebuchadnezzar. We will not bow down before the God of this, of, of, before the gods of this Babylon. They determined their hearts. So the process began from there. And they walked on. The process continued. They were thrown into the fire. Even when they were thrown into the fire, they did not give up. The process continued until there was a fourth man in the, in the, in the fire. There was a fourth man in the fire. And then the glory of God was seen. It took a process for Nebuchadnezzar to acknowledge that truly Everybody in my territory must worship the, the Hebrew God. It is a process. It is a process. We don't have a shortcut. We don't have a shortcut. When a child is born, it takes a process as he grows up. Grows up to be mature like me. It took a process. I was not born yesterday and then today I am like this. It, it has taken a process, a process and hard work and, and patience. patience. And patience. You can sit down those who are standing. It is a process. So our journey is a process. It is a process. When you went to school, you did not just graduate immediately. It, it took a process. From the time you went to school, you went to all these classes. You went to P1, P2, and all that. Senior 1, Senior 6. You went to the university. And then you became what you were. There was a process going on. Before you go to the glory, there is a process. Your mind keeps opening. It keeps opening according to your availability. It according to your desire. Some people give up. Some people drop out of school in P3. They hold, they, they, the process uh, stops there. We shouldn't cut short. So this person who goes to school and persists 
and goes up to the university. You see the glory when it is graduation. You see the joy of parents when it is graduation. That is their glory. They are saying in their lives, our child went through a process and now she has graduated. What a glory. What a joy. What a beauty. There is a process. There is a process going on in our lives. Let us not hold the process. Let us not hold the process. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The children of, of Israel started their journey from Egypt. The Bible tells us they had to go to the promised land. There was a promised land promised to them. But they had to go through the process step by step walking with God. So they encountered so many things on their journey to the promised land. There was the Red Sea. They had to go through the Red Sea. Hallelujah. They went through the Red Sea. They were being pursued by the Egyptian the Pharaoh. And the Egyptian army, they were pursuing them in this journey, in this process. But I tell you, when it, because they didn't give up, they walked out of the Red Sea, and the Lord dealt with the enemies. The Lord caused them all to drown, and then they entered the promised land. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us there was glory. There was joy. The, the end result was so good. They did not give up. The Bible tells us Miriam got a timbrel. And the women followed her. And they sang a song unto the Lord. There was so much great jubilation. They remembered what the Lord had done. That was like they had come to the to the glorious part of the process. The end result when Miriam was singing and they were all dancing. That was a glory time. Miriam that was a time of rejoicing. There was a process. They went through a process. Glory, glory to God. Yes, the journey from Israel, from Egypt to the promised land was a journey. Amen. It was a process. When we look at our father Abraham, when he was told to leave, the, to leave his father's house and he go to an unknown place, the Bible says he packed up his things and started the journey. Abraham he started a process. He started a process. The Bible tells us he walked and he walked according to God's instructions until he reaches the point when now God himself declares he is the father of faith. It was a process. The glory part of it was when now all of us are declared the children of Abraham. If Abraham was to give up on the way, do you think would, you think would have understood faith? So the process continued. He walked this process. Some of us want to give up on the way. And if we give up on the way, we'll not reach the glory. We will not touch the glory. We will not touch the glory. We will not touch the glory. Ah, there are many times. Many times in my village they do it. They love eating kalo. When they, 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 they some which is left, they say, no, let's recycle it. They recycle it. The first time it is nice. Then the, maybe some more is also left. They say, let's recycle it again. The third time, the fourth time, it is spoiled. They threw it away. I don't want us to be recycled. recycled. The Lord is doing a process in you. But to become so stiff-necked, so stubborn, that he recycles you again. 
to the next level. I am going forward. I am forward. I am going There is somewhere. There is a God. There is something. I have a vision for my life. I am going to steadfast. There is a work God is doing in my life. And is going to bring it to a completion. There is, there is, it is a process. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. Before you become an expert in something you determine no, to do that thing okay, and as you keep learning slowly you are advancing you are advancing very soon you will start enjoying the glory of it there is a process that has started in that maybe you want to be a teacher then you start being a teacher slowly by slowly you make mistakes here and there. You correct the mistakes. And eventually, they say, wow, this teacher is the best teacher. Yes. You become a great teacher. A teacher looked for by everybody. That is now you've reached your level of glory. You passed through the process. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God take us there. May we walk in this process until we reach our glory. Our glory. Our glory. My God, thank you, Jesus. Even when God was creating the world we are in now, According, according to God's God creation, this is the glory part of his creation. He created day one, day two, according to, to Genesis. The things are taking shape every day until the last day, the sixth day, when he looked at his creation I said, wow, this is beautiful. This is great. This is great. This is what I was dreaming about. And especially when he made man in his own image. Said, wow, this is glorious. This is wonderful. It was a process. There was something which started. And it came to an end. And the end result was so glorious. He looks at, he looks at the hills. He looks at the mountains. He looks at the plants. He looks at the birds of the air. He looks at the fish in the sea. He looks at the sea itself. He looks at the fish in the sea. He looks at the sea itself. And it pleases him. That is the glory. That is the glory. That is the glory. That is the glory. When he said, let us make man in our own image, it began just as a, as a, a suggestion. And then they made man. And after making man, he said, wow, that is the glory part of that process. It is the glory part of, your, of, of that process. God, who began the good work in us, wants to accomplish it. And wants to end in glory. To end in glory. Yes, I don't know what level you are in, but God wants us to end in glory. God wants us to enter into that maturity. Where are your words are his words? Your thoughts are his thoughts. When he has engulfed you completely into himself, 
walking na uli. in his glory. The Bible tells us his desire is that we become like his son. We resemble Jesus in all ways. In acts, in thoughts, in everything. That, we live, that is God is uh, God is glory in you. He, he wants, wants you to reach that level where you are no longer struggling in life. He, he wants, wants to break forth in your life. There, there is a process that he has he begun. He is doing every day doing something. He is advancing you. He is opening your mind. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. But you walk glory. Full potential. We potential. He wants to make you a sign and a wonder. In when this you are alive. He wants to make you a sign and a wonder. Now you know what you Traveling in that level. He wants you to. He wants to see you. Say it. Talking great things about your life. I am great. I do great things. Because of the Lord who is, who is enabling me. I hear that. power. I walk in glory. I am well able. The disciples, the apostles did those miracles. But we can do more. This is what Jesus told us. That I'm going to the Father. The works you see me do. You will do even greater works. Where are those greater works? Where are those greater works? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? We are waiting for, 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 to do it next year. Are we going to do the great works next year? Are we going to walk in miracles next year? Is it for next year? Eh? Am I going to walk in power next year? What am I going to do today? What, am I, what is the gap for? Why don't I walk in power now? Why don't I release myself into the presence of God? And he who has started the good work will bring it to a completion. He is at work in me. He needs my full attention. He wants my full, my full attention. The process has begun. We are walking step by step, going higher from glory to glory. From one level of glory to another. There's a process that has begun. Let us not hold the process. Let us place a demand. Let us place a demand. These things are individual. God wants to deal with us as individuals. Fight your own battles. And fight my own battles. Hey. Put a demand on God. Neighbors, to make Christ be formed in us. Take a man to sow a seed. It is up to us to make sure this seed grows and we take another step. I've seen people in the church. They are bound from January to December. Again, they start from January to December. You wonder what message they pulpit here. I don't want to be recycled. I want every day to be fresh. Fresh revelation. God is at work in our lives. That's where God is taking us. Let us not halt the process. The Bible tells us the, the people who left Egypt, they reached somewhere and some of them started craving for the life of Egypt. They started craving for the cucumbers, for the watermelon, for the meat they left in Egypt. Yet in Egypt, they were in tears. Yet in Egypt, 
They were in bondage. They yet in Egypt. They were in hard task. So they reached somewhere in the journey. They started thinking of Egypt. They are going to the promised land, but with the mentality of Egypt. No, they didn't reach the promised land because they were craving for Egypt. You cannot continue going to the promised land with the mentality of Egypt. No. They never reached the promised land. They halted the process. Hey! They started admiring, thinking about the life where they were living in Egypt. No. They were you ca God cannot break through in your life. We must rise up and embrace what God is doing. God wants us to walk in glory. God wants us to walk in power. God wants the anointing upon our lives to increase. That's where where God is taking us. Are we ready for that level? The process has begun. Are we ready to go with him up to glory? The glory level where you sit and say yes. God is working in me. Like Catherine Kuhlman, she had such a relationship with the Holy Spirit that she would sit and see God work. She just needed to show up. And God, she was like watching a TV herself on the TV. God is working and she is seeing. Glory be to God. Let us stand on our feet and let us receive daddy to end for us in the name of Jesus. Papa, we love you and we welcome you. Come and finish for us in the name of Jesus. God has started a process. Thank you for speaking into our lives all the time. We are ready to go God all the way until we walk in this glory. God bless you. Give Jesus some praise. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate God for Mama's ministry. God bless you.